Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogwen. Here's your Channels TV Evening News recap for July the 6th, 2020. The Department of State Services says it did not arrest the acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Mr. Ibrahim Magu. The DSS says the clarification becomes necessary following a series of inquiries about the EFCC boss. But when contacted, the anti graft agency in the statement by its spokesperson, Dili Uyiwale, confirmed that the EFCC boss honored an invitation by a presidential panel reviewing the activities of the EFCC at the banquet hall wing of the presidential villa Abuja. The federal government is set to shut the third mainland bridge for six months starting from Friday, July the 24th. The Federal Controller of Works in Lagos, Oluka Adepukwala, confirmed this to Channels Television on Monday. Meanwhile, the controversy over the Cross River State COVID-19 status appears to be taking another dimension as the Nigeria Medical Association in the state has embarked on an industrial action to express its grievances. The chairman of the NMA in the state, Dr. Agam Ayuk, says the members can no longer put up with the refusal of the state government to carry out testing and the reluctance of the NCDC to reflect results conducted on its website. On the contrary, the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Beta Edu, has dismissed the claims by the NMA, insisting that the state has no COVID-19 case. On the international scene, India has recorded more than 24,000 new cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours, taking its total above that of Russia. The country now has the third largest number of confirmed cases in the world at 697,413. There have been 19,693 deaths. And in sports, Manchester United FC coach Ole Gunnar Solskjaer insists the Red Devils will never stand still in their chase for a Champions League spot next season. Man United are two points behind Chelsea, who are in fourth place with just five games remaining this season. And that's your news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Ayotunde Balogun, and thank you for watching.